overall, I mean, I'm not buying Elijah Craig Barrel Proof anymore. All right, everybody from Dark Spirits, welcome back. Thanks for watching, man. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Elijah Craig price increase for uh, Small Batch and the Barrel Proof. All right, so in my area, the Elijah Craig Small Batch has increased by about, like, $5. And I remember one of the earlier videos I did, I give a list of like my top bourbons under $30 and the Elijah Craig small batch is in there, but I got to take it out. And here's why. At 26 to $27, where it was at before, it was an amazing value. Sure, it wasn't the best bourbon in the world and there were a lot of flaws in there, but I mean, for a 94 proof small batch bourbon, that was readily available. It was just really hard to compete with it. Now with this price increase, I mean, you're only like a dollar or two away from Woodford Reserve. And I'm gonna tell you from my experience, and I did a long-term review of that, that Woodford Reserve is way, 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 way better than Elijah Craig Small Batch. I remember my long-term review of Woodford Reserve, you just got a lot of good flavors in there. And that was still the first and only bourbon that I've had so far that has notes of like cocoa or chocolate or something. It's a solid, tasty bourbon that you can find pretty much anywhere. Now, I also said that it was boring and I agree, but for $35 or something, you can't really ask for the moon there. So I think I'm gonna have to say, Elijah Craig, man, there's a new kid in town. I got to take you off of my list. I mean, it's a decent bourbon, but you're no longer a value. And that's what your selling point is. Woodford Reserve is more refined, has a better looking bottle, in my opinion. And it's just an overall better bourbon. I'm probably going to pay the extra 2 or $3 difference to go to Woodford Reserve instead of Elijah Craig Small Batch. All right, let's talk about the barrel proof. I remember... I reviewed the Barrel Proof. I have the whole collection of the 2019 and the 2020s, the A, the B, and the C. I remember the first Elijah Craig Barrel Proof I had was the A119, and man, that thing was hot. And I also uh, have a review coming out of the B519, and I thought that one was a lot better. There's the C also that I may try out uh, this fall, but overall, I mean, I'm not buying Elijah Craig Barrel Proof anymore simply because they've gone up by $10 on that. I used to be able to get Elijah Craig for like $59.99 where I live at, which is in a control state. Now it's $69.99. Nothing has changed about the bourbon. You might even say that they are reduced the proof a little bit, but I'm not really gonna complain about that because as long as the flavor profile is hitting, I'm good with that. The problem with the Elijah Craig barrel proofs is same thing. Somebody else wants to eat that lunch. And that guy's name is called Jack Daniels. Now those Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs, from what I understand, they used to be bad, but I mean, they're good now. The one that I had, it was good. I would definitely replace any Elijah Craig barrel proof with this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. At the same price point, I'm getting a better looking bottle, in my opinion. You get the decanter style bottle. It's Jack Daniels, like everybody knows what that is. Somebody comes to your house, you know, they're probably gonna be interested in trying a Jack Daniels barrel proof. They probably never had it before. And again, that kind of goes into the same thing about being a great gift, because at $70, it's priced at a point where an average everyday kind of, I might have a drink once or twice a month person who's had Jack Daniels, they probably never had the single barrel barrel proof. So it'll be a good gift. I think the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is still solid, but when you raise the price like that, you kind of compete with more of like the big boys. So that's what happens. So yeah, the small batch has gone up by five. Uh, the Barrel Proof has gone up by 10. And I just think that it kind of takes a lot of the, uh, the value play out of it anymore. For me, if they're spending around the same amount of money, I'd recommend that they get the Woodford Reserve Classic over the Elijah Craig small batch. And for the barrel proof, I would tell them just to uh, get the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Uh, you don't have to worry about people chasing it also as much, or at least not yet. So that's what I think, man. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. As you know, on this channel, I always keep it 100. Really appreciate you guys checking me out. I'll see you next time.